<laughs> there's still a chance we could get some, maybe? Yes, so <laughs> it's most likely going to be in February. Hmm. We do get some. Um, most likely, yes, but it's only going to be, you know, about a day or two. That's how it is here in El Paso. <laughs> but as far as right now on our radar, we actually are seeing a little bit of snow up north of us. So places like TRC and Deming and the upper elevations are getting a little bit of snow right now. That's what the white indicates. The pink is that wintry mix of rain and snow. And we are getting a little bit in Ridoso, and we are expecting some snow to tomorrow in Ridoso a little bit. So that's pretty exciting. But we're also tracking a little bit of rain in the Oregon Mountains, in White Sands. It's continuing to move east, and it's producing some winds for us. So as far as temperatures right now, 64 degrees is where we're at, and that's because of all that cloud coverage. It's actually keeping us a little bit warmer. Southwesty winds at 16 miles per hour, 26 mile per hour gusts. In Las Cruces, we're looking a little bit cooler, 57 degrees, and gusts are close to 40 miles per hour. Make sure you're securing any of those Christmas decorations. And across the region, we're looking at 39 Silver City, 48 in Deming, matching that in Tier C, 55 in Juarez. And here's those gusts. So you'll notice a lot stronger up north of us. We're looking at 34 in Tier C, 15 in Silver City, 14 in Ridoso, 26 in El Paso, 22 at the pass. So pretty strong right now. And they're going to get even stronger tomorrow. But as far as our overnight lows, we're forecasting 36 in Las Cruces, 39 in El Paso, 40 in Juarez. So it is chilly, but it is above average. But it's all going to change tomorrow. We're going to get that cold front. It's going to bring us those winds and even more rain starting tonight. So we are expecting plenty of rain. But tomorrow, we are actually going to be in a wind advisory starting at 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. in El Paso, Otero County, Doña County, Hudspeth County. So we are expecting 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts and 40 mile per hour gusts, 20 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds. But as far as rain, so it's going to be throughout the night pockets of rain, but we're going to get another surge of moisture around 7 to 8 a.m. So expect to see some slick roads tomorrow morning, but it looks like we'll finally dry out around 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. But as we look ahead, well, we are expecting, like I said, plenty of rain, bring those umbrellas, bring those jackets, and tomorrow we're expecting a forecast high of 55 degrees, 40 percent chance of rain, windy conditions. And if you're going to keep up with there's New Year's resolutions, here's what to expect tomorrow when you're heading off to the gym, ADA, we're looking at 42 degrees, still in the 40s by 10 a.m. So as we look ahead, here's where we officially register today, 67 in El Paso, 63 in Las Cruces, 66 in Juarez. So we were 10 degrees above where we should be for today, 11 degrees above our overnight low. So staying above average, but like I said, we'll drop tomorrow. So 55 for your Monday, still windy on Tuesday, 57 on Wednesday, only 10% chance of rain, breezy conditions, and then we'll finally dry out on Thursday. Thursday, 63 degrees, 66 on Friday. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break.